Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Crystal Beast Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for June 2024. Wanted to update the Crystal Beast deck. It's been a good while since we've had some new support. I actually think uh, Crystal Revenge might be the last time we've seen some Crystal Beast support. It might be Monstrous Revenge. I may be thinking of one card that may have slipped by since we've last had support, but been over a year almost since the last update to the Crystal Beast deck, so I figured an update was due for all the changes that I've made to the deck since then. Still making it a very fun deck, focusing on just the original Crystal Beast monsters for this deck profile, if you all want to see it. I'll definitely look into making an update to the Advanced Crystal Beast deck as well, one of the more overlooked archetypes for sure for the Crystal Beast deck. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So we'll go ahead and start off with the main deck monsters. For our Crystal Beast monsters, we're running three copies of Sapphire Pegasus. The Crystal Beast monsters all share the card effect as well. If this card is destroyed in the monster zone, you can place it face up in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell. And then also being able to utilize their different card effects with Sapphire Pegasus being the best when it's normal or special summon. You can place one Crystal Beast monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard in your spell and trap card zone face up as a continuous spell. And having it be continuous, you know, treated as a continuous spell as well. So no matter how you summon out your Sapphire Pegasus, you'll get that extra resource for your Crystal Beast monster on the field as well. So depending on which one you may want to summon out, can act as either a different resource for your other spell and trap lineups or just more of that setup to begin with. And then the other three of that we run for our Crystal Beast monsters is Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. If this face-up card is destroyed, it has the same continuous spell place effect as well. And once per turn, when an attack is declared in Involving a Crystal Beast monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can banish this card, treat it as a continuous spell to special summon one level four lower Crystal Beast monster from your deck, but negate its effects. And if you do, add one ultimate Crystal monster from your deck to your hand. So some of the other cards in the deck revolve around cards like Awakening of the Crystal Ultimates, which revolve around having an ultimate Crystal monster in our hand. So having that search power with one of our three ofs and having another search for our three ofs as well, we have the power to use this card as more of a setup for this card to then be used as another search resource and then also two copies of crystal beast ruby carbuncle with this card when it's special summon you can special summon as many crystal beast cards as possible from your spell and trap card zone giving you just more and more resources to use from your spell and trap card zone as well depending on what we summon out for those cards to make use of carbuncle just as long as we can summon it out can then grab those other cards that are in our spell and trap card zone for us to then reuse again and then, as usual, it really hasn't changed much number-wise, but the one ofs for our Crystal Beasts include one Topaz Tiger, the one Amber Mammoth, the one Cobalt Eagle, the one Emerald Tortoise, and then the one Amethyst Cat. Really only needing one ofs for all of these, and our Rainbow Dragon even revolves around having seven different Crystal Beast monsters, which we have the one additional in the form of Rainbow Dragon. So if one of these happens to get banished, we still have a means to summon out our Rainbow Dragon to the field, which we are also just running the one of copy and for those of you that don't know the old text doesn't specify but it does count as an ultimate crystal monster as well the original rainbow dragon since that's what its original name was meant to be also Moving on now to the spells, running three copies of Crystal Bond. You add one Crystal Beast monster from your deck to your hand, and then place one Crystal Beast monster with a different name from your deck face up in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell. You can activate one Crystal Bond per turn, but being able just to set up one and then add one to our hand gives us access to some of the better ones we want in our hand to make use of for their special summon power. So three Crystal Bond, because this card can also be searched off of one of our other three ofs, which is the Rainbow Bridge. It is not a once per turn, but you can add one Crystal Spower Trap from your deck to your hand, so whether it's Crystal Bond or some of the other lower number Crystal cards we have in the deck as well. Rainbow Bridge, just being able to open up multiples of this card in our hand to then get different searches definitely is another three of just to thin out the deck as well. And also three copies of Rainbow Bridge of the Heart. During your main phase, you can normal summon one Crystal Beast monster in addition to your normal summoner set. You can only gain this effect once per turn. You can only use this effect of Rainbow Bridge of the Heart once per turn. And during your main phase, you can destroy one Crystal Beast card you control or in your hand to add one Crystal Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. And then if a Crystal Beast card is placed in your Spell and Trap card zone, even during the damage step, you can target one card your opponent controls, return both that target and this card to the hand, being able to then reuse or make way for other face-up Continue spell traps for our Rainbow Bridge of the Heart, but also being able to have those additional summons. If we have multiple Sapphire Pegasus, then we can get both the searches because Sapphire Pegasus is not a once per turn when it comes to its setup for our Crystal Beast cards. 
and also three copies of Awakening of the Crystal's Ultimates. You reveal one Ultimate Crystal Monster in your hand, then activate one of these effects. If you control an Ultimate Crystal Monster, you can activate one or two of these effects in sequence. Instead, you take one Rainbow Bridge or one Rainbow Refraction from your deck, and you that to your hand, or send it to the graveyard. And also, you can special summon one Crystal Beast Monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard in over the Spell and Trap Card Zone, giving you access to Ruby Carbuncle, and also summoning out some of the other ones we may want to use. But the big play comes down to just having to reveal the ultimate crystal monster which is our rainbow dragon in our hand which can be added and searched and set up with cards like crystal beast rainbow dragon which in turn can be searched out with some of the other cards like crystal bonds all the cards connect very very easily to one another which you can just have a big chain of search power to get to for some of the lower numbers for our crystal beast spells two copies of golden rule it's always treated as a crystal card making it another search for our other cards in the deck you place two crystal beast monsters from your deck face up in your spell and trap card zone as continuous spells then special summon one crystal beast monster from your hand or graveyard with a different name than those cards and if you do equip it with this card and when this card leaves the field destroy that monster you can activate one golden rule per turn but if it's destroyed it'll just go in your spell and trap card zone as well and being able just to set up more of those cards placing the two from your deck face up can go for one of the you know some of the one that we run the deck for the crystal beast monsters also i also run the two copies of crystal beacon special summon one crystal beast monster from your deck you must have two or more crystal beast cards in your spell and trap card zone to act with this so in tandem with golden rule you can place the two crystal beast cards in your from your deck face up in your spell and trap card zone giving you those cards and then using crystal beacon as more of the special summon resource you'll have the one off of the golden rule to summon back to the field but then your crystal beacon can then summon out the ruby carbuncle from the deck and then using the effect of Carbuncle, having all those resources out onto the field as long as we have a graveyard set up and then the additional monsters to search out. And then I also run the one copy of Crystal Promise. You just target a Crystal Beast card in your spell and trap card zone and special summon it. Well, I would say Beacon definitely does have more of a better setup for the field to use. You can always, you know, go off of the one Ruby Carbuncle. That may potentially still be in the spell and trap card zone for you then to summon back with Crystal Promise. And then for some of the generic spells in the deck, two copies of Forbidden Droplet. Now, I would say one of the bigger weaknesses in the deck is also if you just happen to fill up your spell and trap card zone with way too many spells. So then being able to use cards like droplet to at least remove some of the cards and stop your opponent's own card effects and making it so since these do count as spells unable to activate their own in turn and also the two copies of foolish burial goods i like this for the combo to search and set up the rainbow bridge of salvation in the graveyard for more search power for some specifics because then you can just use it as a sort of indirect search for a field spell and a crystal beast monster with the field spell i thought of running the rainbow ruins but i'm sticking more towards liking to run the chicken game spell as more of a defensive option to draw into cards or destroy this card once you have your setup need making it so it's harder to take damage with more of your plays being the setup for your crystal beast cards and then board presence really not being a big part of the deck because you have more of the setup on the field also and then lastly the one copy of call by the grave for the rest of the spell lineup with our traps being the one copy of crystal conclave i would say there is a version of the deck where conclave acts as more of the control basis of the deck but we're still trying to get out some of the bigger boss monsters in this variant so just the one conclave for its um, you know bounce power the one copy of miracle for more of a counter trap for spell and traps or monster effects and destroying a crystal beast card we control to negate that activation and destroy the card and then the rainbow bridge of salvation having this card be the send target for foolish burial goods and then also being able to have a potential banish effect with crystal miracle from the graveyard to then place one crystal beast monster from your hand deck or graveyard face up in your spell trap card zone so even if we don't have the target for rainbow bridge of salvation off of foolish burial goods we have the one other target to then send crystal miracles and then with the search off of rainbow bridge of salvation we can grab our field spell of choice that we run in the deck and then also the summon of one additional crystal beast monster to the field that's it for the main deck when we'll i move on to the extract for our fusion monsters i have one copy of ultimate crystal rainbow dragon overdrive and then also the one rainbow over dragon only the one of i would really say if you you know summon the one out there's really not a big big chance you'll summon out multiple copies but you have the tribute option with rainbow over dragon and then also the special summon of the ultimate crystal monster to banish the above cards for rainbow dragon overdrive having more of the shuffle back and power boost power of the 7000 attack that overdrive can provide along with the original from the rainbow dragon 
for more of the other extract monsters. For the Xyz monsters, one Lightning Chidori works very, very well, whether it be with our Sapphire Pegasus play, or even being able to make use of the multiple Sapphire Pegasus, or even the Cobalt Eagle, to be able to overlay into this Xyz monster. The one copy of Abyss Dweller, the one Tornado Dragon, along with the one Baguska, the one Zeus, and the one Typhon for all the different Xyz monsters. If you wanted to try a level or a rank 3 Xyz option to go with cards like Carbuncle and Amethyst Cat and Tortoise, you can try Levier as more of a special summon option to grab some of our Banished Crystal Beast monsters back onto the field, with our Link monsters being the one Ferrigent for more special summon power, especially since it can also be used to go into with Beast, Beast Warrior monsters or Wing Beast monsters, which we have the Beast monsters and also the... Uh, wing beast monsters all taken care of but the majority being beast and then being able to special summon one additionally from our hand using Farragut with also the one copy of cross sheep the one barricade board blocker the one nightmare Cerberus the one IP mascarena the one nightmare unicorn and then the one Apollosa to wrap up the extra deck and then as for some of the go-to plays in the deck, as I mentioned before, the send and setup is a big part of the deck. Having the additional normal summon with cards like your Rainbow Bridge of the Heart, or even just being able to search, so you can go for your Rainbow Bridge search to then use this card. And I would say Droll and Lockbird or Ash Blossom are always the weakness of decks like this, but you can use Rainbow Bridge, searching out your Crystal Bond, then use this card to add one Crystal Beast monster from your deck to your hand, and then place one with a different name from your deck face up in your Spell and Trap card zone, so then you can place the carbuncle in your spell and trap card zone you can add the sapphire pegasus from your deck to your hand and then you can normal summon out the sapphire pegasus using its own effect to then summon and normally if you're going to go for this play it all depends on what else you have in your hand for you to use so depending on what's in your hand you can set cards like the one ofs like the topaz tiger because then once you use your sapphire pegasus you'll want to set one more additional card and once this again as i said before you can either go for the play if you have cards like golden rule in your hand which also count as a crystal card so if you already had the rainbow uh, bridge and the crystal bond in your hand you could use the rainbow bridge to search out golden rule or the one other card it all comes down to what's not in your hand that you want to be there for this specific play you can grab the crystal beacon or if it's in your hand and you have both of these two searches you can then activate the golden rule which this card can most of the time you place two crystal beast monsters face up in your spell trappers and then special summon one crystal beast monster from your hand or graveyard so you'll need that other additional resource in your hand which could be one of or one off of the crystal beast monsters that may have not been in your hand or that you opened up with and then equipping it with this card and then placing the two more additional which this is where the big weakness comes down because then it'll fill up your field with the additional cards so then this is where you either want to go for the link play because then once again once this is on the field for your play you'll have the setup of two more crystal beast cards from your deck to the field which those two monsters will then fill up the zones but you'll have to get rid of the golden rule so you have to go into a link play this is where cards like farajit can come into play because then you'll have another special resource but it'll open up your play for your additional monsters because then you'll be able to activate your crystal beacon summoning out the carbuncle from the deck which will then be able to summon back all of your different monsters which then from there you have the five on the field the two sent for the link summon giving you seven different crystal beast cards but also more and more resources to build up for you to use and then search out for because then you'll have the banished play as well to then special summon the option for your play for your rainbow dragon you can banish this card to special summon one level four lower from your deck but negates effects then add the one ultimate crystal beast monster so you can even go for this play beforehand banishing from your spell and trap card zone to grab the last of the crystal beast monsters which is the cobalt eagle for that to have the seven different crystal beast names and then being able to at least from there add the rainbow dragon to your hand but that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, I always love updating the Crystal Beast deck. There are always a few small changes, whether it be cards in the ban list like Chicken Game or just some other numbers that I like to change to keep the deck up to date. But as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.